Hello good people, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mista and today we're gonna see my first impressions about Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warzone, the new battle royale of Call of Duty. Let's dive right in. So once you start the game you have to do the training mission in the beginning and they explain pretty much well the basic mechanics from this mode but they don't tell you everything so let's dive into it and see what else i can we get out of it so good people today we have a sponsor this video is sponsored by raid legends shadow legends uh, it's an a online rpg mobile game uh, for android and and uh, ios and it's free to download so take Check the link in the description below. Let me talk a little bit about this app and, and uh, introduce it to you. So I've been playing it like a couple of uh, weeks now and uh, since they contacted me and it was, uh, it's a good experience. I'm playing when I have a free time, you know, like gaps in the day and when you travel, it's a fun game to play. So I just highly suggest you download it and try it out. It's free after all. Uh, let's dive into it and, and, and let me show you uh, what this game is about. As you can see, this is the starting screen. You are uh, you can choose from um, your for the portal where you can open shards, the tavern where you can up upgrade uh, your characters. Uh, then also you can you can battle and the game is uh, structured like this. So for example, you can go uh, to battle and either there is campaign, dungeons, fraction wards, arena, which arena is the PvP mode and the campaign is the campaign. Let's start with the campaign. The campaign is a full voiced story, story based and you play through di different levels as you can see uh, and uh, every each, each chapter it's voiced and you like uh, follow like a cute little story and yeah. And level up your uh, characters. Then you have the uh, portals. You can you can summon. Uh, uh, you can use your shards here. For example, if I use a blue shard now, you can see. You can just get a character like that, a new character, and boom! Here, a judicator, for example. And look at the graphics, guys. It looks so pretty. It's like it's like a console game. Remember, like our old console games or more newer too. It looks amazing. I cannot believe that my old ass phone can play that thing. You know, and uh, yeah, it looks it looks great. So definitely check it out. And then you can also see uh, the character roster, which is great. Here, here you can see the the character roster. I've got uh, some champions here unlocked. I'm playing it a little bit, as you can see, and this one. Uh, is a basilisk which is a badass lizard thing and then we have uh, Aina I love I love her she's she's great and then Kalia look at that freaking Vikings and yeah barbarians I think Aina is my favorite character look <laughs> uh, at, at least for now and she looks amazing look at that graphics and the details the hair the tattoos it's just amazing. The index where you can see all the uh, clans, the, the factions, let's say, uh, where you can you have banner lords, high elves, secret order, barbarians. They are all the character types you will get in the game. They are amazing. Like I think they have 500 car different characters or something. It's just crazy, crazy, crazy big amount of characters. Then you have the dungeons. You can you can do the dungeons where you can fight and get some. Uh, uh, boss fight there and then you have the arena where you can uh, play against other players it's a pvp mode let's say as you can see the combat is pretty sweet you have abilities here you can choose from and attack multiple characters or a single character which is great and you have also uh, enemy types where you like have an advantage of and or you like uh, neutral the yellow arrows and green arrows Just the game has like a depth in it and it's so much fun to play you have to think about your attacks and what what uh, how you will approach each enemy type uh and once you need uh, beat the stages you go further and then you will fi finally go to the boss fight yes boom you see that <laughs> that's great guys yes 
So I think this game is fun to play and uh, I enjoyed my time at it. So when you have spare time and when you're on travels, the game is so much fun to play. And yeah, I will continue to have it on my phone and play. Um, I suggest you check it out too. So that was it about Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, it's it's an, a fun game to play, guys. It's on Android and iOS, but also you can play it on PC and it is cross-play. So any progress will uh, update it in each, like on, up, on your app, on your phone and on PC, you will just continue your progress. Uh, the graphics on PC are also super fast, like in on the phone. Uh, yeah, please check it in the description below. You can click the link, it will help the channel out and you will also get 50,000 silver and a free epic character for the new players program. It will, it's great and it will help the channel out and it is for free so you have nothing to lose. Check Raid out, it will help the channel also out. So download it and let me know also uh, how did you like the game, okay guys? Thank you guys for sticking with me and let's continue our preview to Warzone. So once you drop from the airplane, you have your parachute and when you the first time when you fall at the end the parachute will auto deploy and you don't have to press anything but if you cut your parachute to dive faster then you have to redeploy the parachute so if you do if you cut it once you have to redeploy it because you will also, uh, else it will not auto open and you will uh, die so there are two modes one battle royale mode the normal battle royale mode and one plunder mode uh, the plunder mode means you have to uh, get money in the game but with doing um, missions and also killing other players maybe and then you the team that who reaches first one million or the time runs out the team with the most money gathered will win this mode which is something different that and I suggest you play that to learn the map and then dive into the battle royale mode. One mechanic that is different from the other battle royale games is when you die the first time you go to the gulag which is a prison where you have a chance to go back to the game if you win the 1v1 gunfight. You can use the Gulag only one time and at some point near the end of the match the Gulag closes and you cannot use it at all. Another thing are the mini mission where you can go and do some tasks like find some crates or kill a specific player to earn some more money and use it for the buying station. The match starts with 150 players, the map is great uh, with some variety and you can go in every building and explore the buildings and the rooftops. One key aspect is that you can use your parachute to jump from one rooftop to another. You can also buy your loadout from a station which will drop on, onto the map. That means the guns, attachments and perks you have in the main game will come over to this mode which is amazing to play with, with a loadout that you spend hours to create and master. Armor is one of the most important mechanics in the game. You can use armor to get up to three armor bars and it will say it's a must. It will save you for in many, many fights. The also, uh, there, there are helicopters, ATVs and, our, and all sorts of vehicles you can use. Uh, but the controls are a little bit uh, clunky and not great. I would I would like um, want more attention to detail in that one department. And the weird thing is the map shows who is using the vehicle so you can, by marking them uh, red in the map, which makes no sense to me that like, why would would I use a vehicle because everybody then can see me and hear me but they're super loud. I had some matchmaking issues waiting forever to get to into into a game but hopefully by the time this this video is uh, live it will be sorted out. I played both on PC and PS4 and had some render issues but it was mostly a smooth experience. One more thing I didn't like were the excessive push of the battle pass. I mean I know it's a free game but still yikes. My first impression of Warzone is good. I want some more time with it and I will have it in the following streams, but I think it's a good step to the right direction. I had much fun 
and can't wait to experience more so let's talk more in the comments below tell me what you your experience is with the game and let me know what you think don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel ring that bell so you don't miss any future uploads or live streams i'm Mista, and i'm gonna talk to you on the next one game on